space, the final frontier. Hello there, fellow modelers, and welcome to something a little bit different. No, I'm not going to be building the NX01 Enterprise, sadly, uh, but I'll be building something else. As you can probably tell from the title, it, it is a airbrush booth. First off, I just wanted to start off by thanking all of you for all your your wonderful comments and questions and I thoroughly enjoy reading and answering them to the best of my ability it's uh, no I real I really enjoy hearing from you guys and also to announce that no well, we've passed 300 subscriber on this channel which is some which is amazing uh, considering that I haven't really been uploading that many videos uh, I just don't have the time that I want to spend on this but I'm here now I'm gonna make a video and uh, as you can tell from the title it is a airbrush booth so, start off, I designed a uh, mock-up in SketchUp, which is a uh, 3D modeling tool, a free 3D modeling tool. You can just look it up, uh, Google SketchUp, and then you'll find it. So, this is obviously, the, the um, this is two views of the same airbrush booth. The main thing that I wanted to achieve with this build is space so I don't have too much space on my work uh, workshop uh, table so I wanted to have it uh, to be able to fold up like this so this is roughly 300 millimeters uh, which is great and give me about 400 millimeters of workspace when I'm not using it so that's cool and once it's folded out you can see I get still get a little shroud around around it now these pieces, um, uh, this is the front piece, right? It'll come off and um, not like that, but like that. It'll come off and it's the same piece that sits on the front here. And I'm gonna attach all of this using uh, using magnet, magnets. So, this thing works by having these two 120 120 millimeter fans uh, on the top here blowing upwards and creating a draft sucking all the fumes from the front here through here so I'll have a filter right about here something and uh, I'll just make a frame for it and mount a little filter on there using some um, you know wing nuts or something I, I don't know yet but there's gonna be a filter of course uh, these fans though are uh, a little bit different these aren't your standard computer case fans these are actually uh, heavy-duty heavy-duty fans if you will uh, that uh, plugs in right to your wall outlet so those are pretty cool and the main thing I did it in SketchUp of course you can see what it looks like but also you can after building it like this you can just go in with your measuring tool and get all your pieces uh, all the measurement for your pieces so that's what I did and just make make it like this so you can have it all laid out what you need to cut up so that's great that that's the main reason why I use these things uh, it just saves saves uh, saves me thinking or something like that anyway uh, this is all, this is all uh, written in Swedish so just ignore that but uh, in, in any case I'll just no I need two of these there's the door uh, one of these this is the rear section and so on and so on so I just have to lay these out uh, either print it or you no know, note it and lay it out on uh, on my plywood which is the material I'll be using to build this and I just and I just take my plunge saw and cut it all out. So uh, I'm gonna cut to another piece, piece here, and uh, we'll um, I'll show you a little bit more details about all the all the bits and bobs that goes into this, and then we'll go on cutting. So see you then. All right, here we are. Uh, this is roughly the parts I'll be using. I got my fans and uh, a little a little switch. Uh, probably not going to use this switch. Uh, this is the only one I had at hand. I'm looking for a, uh, a rocker style uh, switch for this, so I got to buy that. And of course, cabling. 
uh, needs plugging the wall and something to hook the um, hook the fans together with. And these fans, though, I want to talk about. Uh, they have a cast uh, aluminium frame, and they're quite hefty. To uh, no, these move a lot of air. So since I'm gonna have them invisible, I wanted to uh, you know have have protection. So I'm gonna have these. Uh, uh, what we call them grates. Uh, protecting the uh, so you can't get to the fan while whilst it's in motion. And obviously, I need two of these, um, but the store only had one, so I have to go back there. Yeah, and then I have some clamps to hold all together, and I'll glue it all with uh, regular wood glue. Uh, yeah, I don't want to use any nails or screws on this project. Um, and uh, as as far as as far as it goes, but the less the less the better so uh, this is pretty much it I wanted to mention though also these uh, fans I have a uh, together I have a calculated maximum effect of about 50 to 60 watts which is um, which is good which is pretty pretty good uh, not too much uh, power consumption or there yeah next step I'm gonna take uh, go go down to the basement cut up my plywood I have a little piece here. Uh, this is um, a 12 millimeter thick plywood. Uh, not the best grade or quality. Pretty cheap stuff. Uh, but I, had a, I have a couple of she sheets uh, of these down there. And uh, I'm going to go down there, cut it all up, and let's get rocking. Morning, Partos and Toys. That's got to be some kind of record. Well, we got it all cut up, cut up here and um, ready to put it together. I'm going to use wood glue and clamps. Here we go. Some painting. We have uh, this water based outdoor paint made for painting doors, windows, and uh, furniture. It's a protective layer that will withstand no outdoor abuse. But obviously, my airbrush proof is not going to be outdoor, but it was the only color I had laying around, so I'm going to use it. It is water based, and I'm going to be mixing in about 20 25% water and 
that's because it'll, it'll cover easily the first layer and also because it's a water-based paint you know, with or without water it's still gonna raise the grain of, um, of the plywood so it will have to be sanded after the first coat so it'll just be easier and quicker if you dilute it a little bit so gonna mix it up in a little uh, container here and uh, get cracking after as I said after the first coat I'm gonna leave it to dry I'm gonna sand it and then uh, clean it and then paint it again with with the color straight out of out of the can and I'll come back to you after that is done here we go Here it is. I didn't show the uh, in-between sanding of the first coat and the final coat of paint. But it's all here, it's all done, and I've done a little bit more work on it, as you can see here on the side. Let me just tilt it up for you. I have a uh, new button with a uh, little connection box here, which I think looks pretty cool. And um, it goes to the inside. Here's a cord here that will be that will um, connect to the two fans. Uh, let's see if you're able to see. Yep, yeah, there we go. On the back side of this little connection box, there's a hole for the cord that'll go to the wall. So that's that. Uh, the fans. I've done a little bit more work on. I've soldered on a um, the wire. And these will just plop in place up here, like that, and the other one goes on the other side. Oh, you can't see that. Let me show you. There you go. So um, that is done. So I have to hook up all of, all, all the electronics inside here. Uh, but before moving on, I do have to tell you. Um, I have the uh, necessary education experience as well as equipment to do this type of electronics work safely. You shouldn't, unless you're absolutely sure of what you're doing, hook anything that you yourself that you have yourself made up to the wall, to the to the mains. It, it could, could it can go bad real fast, and um, don't just please don't do it unless you're absolutely sure. Of what it is you're doing. Okay, with that out of the way, I'm gonna zoom in a bit and show you some of the hardware I'll be using. Okay, for the front doors, I have hinges. I have four of these. Here's two. Uh, I um, started modifying one. See, I've clipped it a little bit, uh, but I didn't have to, so never mind that. And I have a latch that will hold the two drawers uh, together. Now for the filter, uh, I mentioned I didn't really know how to mount it. I think I'll come up with a solution for that. And I have these, uh, let me show you, these uh, PC thumb screws you've probably seen on your, on your case, especially if you have a custom PC. And these mounting points for um, a motherboard inside inside the case. Uh, I epoxy using two part epoxy epoxy together these two and uh, what I'm thinking is mounting or uh, gluing and using epoxy again these to the case. Making a hole in the case and having these uh, inset sticking out just a little bit and then I can just use my thumb screws on the outside and attach my frame. I haven't shown you yet, so let me zoom out and show you that. Alright, here we are. Just a simple frame 
that'll be um, attached to the front of this. So I'm, ha I'm thinking of having holes around here. Uh, there'll be eight thumb screws in total, and just being able to screw it on from the front. So I can easily take it on and off uh, when I need to replace uh, the filter. Speaking of which, I didn't really. I tried to save a couple of bucks here, and I went on. I went to my uh, local store here and bought. These are, um, what is it, uh, the filter you put in your vacuum cleaner to prevent the big dust from uh, you know, ruining the, the engine, the electric motor, and something uh, other to that effect. Anyway, I'm thinking of having these two together like this, and uh, hopefully that'll work. These were very cheap, and when they're... Uh, no, full of dirt, I can easily re replace them for uh, two or three euros, euros. and uh, hopefully it'll work out fine. I didn't really want to spend money on um, good quality you know, filters that you had in your, your house or whatever, so hopefully this will, won't come back and bite me. So I'm going to apply all the hard hardware and uh, see if I can't get this uh, filter frame to attach to the front like I wanted to. Here we go. after all that was put together it was done and here it is where I'm gonna it's all in its place and everything so I did change a little bit uh, at least one thing from the, uh, from the from the video that I showed earlier uh, and that's namely the filter I was planning on having these two uh, material materials uh, sandwiched together and here's the, the other one uh, but that didn't really work since the um, the airflow through the filter once they were sandwiched together weren't like non-existent and basically there were too too little airflow so the fumes wouldn't get sucked in so I had to opt out of that and just use the one filter and uh, now I got a very good airflow and um, and the filtering is uh, although it's 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 less but still it's enough to actually uh, what, what I'll be using it for and obviously I wouldn't airbrush like this, I'll have some uh, um, something on the table here just to protect it from all the overspray of the airbrush but this is uh, where I'll be uh, sitting on my bench now also another part of this project where we were able to fold it together so let's do that first this top was attached by magnets on here on the doors and there's also corresponding here that I drilled into the, to the lid. So uh, never mind this little uh, part here, there's just some defects in the in the wood. Uh, 
And there. Eventually I'll be having some magnets on the front to attach uh, this lid so it can just stay there without falling off. But now I have a little bit more workspace in front of it, so that's great. Let's turn it on and see how it works. Okay, let's try this out. I have some toilet paper here. I'll just put this on here so you can see the, the draft from it. Like that. And let's turn it on. As you can see, it's working very well. It's taken the, uh, the air from the front, so that will be all the fumes. Works great. It does sound a little bit more than my last airbrush uh, booth, but I don't know if you can hear that. I, the microphone I'm using here is kind of directional, so, but, um, but yeah, it's not super quiet, but it works. I mean, it's not too bad. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions or comments about the build, uh, I encourage you. I encourage you to uh, just put it below in the, in the in the comments, and I'll get to it and answer them to my best of my abilities. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, kind of tried something new here and there. It was pretty fun making it. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, there's more to come. Uh, a couple of painting videos and uh, whatnot. So see you in the future. Bye-bye.